Investigators are still working on the motive and the death of a Temple University student, but they do know what the coroner says about how she died. Eyewitness reporter Trang Doe is live at police headquarters now with the latest on the investigation. Trang, good morning. What do we know? Well, good morning, Rahel. The Wayne County Coroner's Office says Jenna Burley died of a combination of strangulation and blunt force trauma. Investigators say she met her killer that night at an on-campus bar. Our beautiful angel Jenna is now in heaven. Now I know for sure that you can have a broken heart. The words of Jenna Burley's grieving father after learning from investigators that her body was discovered in Wayne County, Pennsylvania on Saturday. This started off as a uh, missing persons investigation and sadly resulted in tragedy. Ed Burley reported his daughter missing on Thursday. He had dropped her off the day before to spend a night out with friends. She never made it home. Well, it really, really strikes home for you. Uh, and particularly thinking about the heartache and the grief that those parents must be going through right now. Temple University police quickly developed 29-year-old former student Joshua Hooperters as a suspect. He and Burley were captured on surveillance video leaving bar Pub Web together on Thursday around 2 a.m. Investigators believe Hooperters killed Burley at his apartment on the 1700 block of North 16th Street, transported her body to Jenkintown, and eventually to his grandmother's property in Hawley, Pennsylvania, where police took him into custody and found Burley's body. He did confess uh, to elements of the crime. The Wayne County Coroner's report says Burley was beaten and strangled. News of the disturbing crime rocked Temple's campus, where Burley was just starting her junior year as a new transfer student. After just a week of being here, I feel I can't believe what her parents are going through. And Hooper Turs faces a number of charges, including murder and abuse of a corpse. He has been denied bail and is expected back in court on September 20th. Meanwhile, he also faces some separate drug charges. But for now, we're live from police headquarters. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News for Health.